It is 6.54 on this Thursday morning. Want to recap a few of your top stories. Forecasters are now saying that Hurricane Dorian could turn into a Category 3 hurricane and also hit Florida by this holiday weekend. Dorian pounded the U.S. Virgin Islands Wednesday as a Category 1 hurricane. President Trump declared a state of emergency in the territory, ordered federal assistance. Parts of Puerto Rico saw high winds and rain, apparently spared the kind of devastation that Hurricane Maria brought nearly two years ago to that island. Fall River police are searching for a driver who hit and critically injured a man walking along the side of the road. Police tell us a 24-year-old man was walking on Brayton Avenue when he was struck by a black vehicle. Witness telling police the car stopped for a moment and then left the scene. The man was rushed to Rhode Island Hospital with a serious head injury. Massachusetts residents got the chance to weigh in on 68 gun-related bills in the state. One bill would require a report on where guns used in crimes were bought. Another would limit buyers to purchase one firearm within 30 days or a max of 15 guns a year. Other measures including background checks on secondary gun sales, tougher regulations on gun 3D printing and so-called imitation guns. It is the first day of school in New Bedford. However, outdoor activities in the evening have already been canceled until further notice because of the threat of Tripoli in the area. The superintendent ordered a 6 p.m. cutoff for the use of school grounds effective immediately. Times or sports practices previously scheduled games and outdoor band rehearsal will all be adjusted. The high school's first home football game was also rescheduled to 1 p.m. on September 2nd. Crews in Providence rushing to get the school buildings ready for the start of class next week. Meanwhile, the school board has voted not to oppose a state takeover of the district. That takeover was proposed after a scathing report done by Johns Hopkins University. Rhode Island's education commissioner says she's disappointed in building conditions, but the interim superintendent says progress is being made. And those are your top stories on this Thursday morning. You can look for updates anytime on our Eyewitness News app and WPRI.com.